last night. I literally passed out at about half nine. I was supposed to go out to Top Golf, a bunch of the lads. I, I planned on having another half an hour nap, which then turned into an eight hour sleep. So, do you know what? I don't regret it. I don't regret anything. I feel good this morning. I woke up at about 5 a.m. early, but I kind of like waking up at that time. I didn't intentionally wake up, but I managed to get two videos edited and they're both being uploaded right now. So, I'll show you this. The Wi-Fi here is like, the Wi-Fi here is incredible. I, I, I have no excuse for not being able to upload other than I can't come up with content, but yeah. So today is day one in Las Vegas. Welcome back to the vlog. You know what? I was, I was gonna get rid of these, but after the performance of them yesterday, I don't think I am. They blew my mind. Anyway, I'm. Uh, I got to get ready now because I'm meeting up with some of the people from. I'm meeting up with some of the people from Matchroom. So while I'm getting ready and I'm having a chat, we can uh, we can go back in time and you can see how I arrived here. So late. I am running so late. My flight is at 12:40. It's 12 o'clock now. I got a 20 minute walk to the gate. But I did just buy some nice headphones. Come on, 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 come to check into my room. Oh, we made it. I think I'm gonna shower, try not to fall asleep. Hang on, I wanna find some food and um, meet up with the rest of the matchroom lot. Long day, I haven't slept so far, didn't even sleep on the plane. But um, always excited to be in Las Vegas. I did vlog last time, just didn't really go to plan, so. Hey, that I just ate a bulking meal. Breakfast was amazing. It was really, really. Good. It is quite tricky to film in Vegas because all the all the hotels have casinos in them, and filming in the casinos is it's not okay, you're not allowed to do it. We don't really venture outside a lot of the time because we're working, and then we're either getting food or we're working. So what I'm gonna do, my plans with these vlogs are, every video that I make, which is what I'm here for, I will pretty much just include that in the segment of the video. Um, so you guys will be seeing what I'm doing and I don't have to worry too much about filming through the hotels and getting security guards coming up to me and telling me to turn my camera off. That being said, today I actually do have something to film. It was supposed to sort of be my day off, but to do what I want. Um, but today I'm gonna go film like a bird behind the scenes of one of the player interviews. It's, um, I think they're doing shark feeding, so that should be pretty cool. And basically just gonna take you along there and show you what I filmed on the behind the scenes. I don't really know what I wanna take with me. I don't really wanna know if I wanna take the, uh, the gimbal or anything like that, cause I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna figure that out. But I've got about 
I've got a couple of hours before I have to do that anyway, so it's no joke when I say this walk to the venue is about a 10 to 15 minute walk every day. I have to do that every day. And this is where the people like me work. Out in the back, when no one can see us. Hello, boss. Hello mate. That's Frank. Frank's also the cameraman. Well, I'll be doing all of my editing. Missing opportunities. Now, I used to be someone who was very worried about saying yes to things because I might not meet the expectations of someone or myself. Now I've turned into a bit of a yes man because if you don't say yes to the opportunities, you won't find out if you're good at them or not, or if you pull it off or not. It's something that I've learned very recently, especially being a part of Matchroom team. Even if you wing it, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm pulling it off. And it's working out quite well for me. Nah. <laughs> Two years ago when I wanted to, put, wanted to start messing around with cameras, or three years ago almost, start messing around with cameras and having an interest in them, I never thought I'd kind of be an actual videographer. And now I'm here because I've worked my ass off and I'm an absolute nerd with it and I've learned. Something I'm not coping with is the jet lag though. It's six o'clock here and I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. This hotel is insanely big. It's just, it's too big. It is way too big. Also, to keep myself inspired and motivated to, to do daily vlogging, what I've started doing is I've actually started going back and watching Casey Neistat's old vlogs. I don't know, they, they, I don't want to copy him, but they give me a bit of inspiration on how to make things look a little bit different, a little bit more exciting for you guys or interesting for you guys. So I'm just trying to couple of new things. I'm not going to start wearing sunglasses indoors because that's not me and I can't see. Hardest thing for me on daily vlogging is the getting over filming with people around. That part I find tricky because I'm quite a shy person, quite introverted. So being able to film around people is something I hope that I will get over. And I'm sure I will with time. It just, it takes practice, you know? I want to be out of my comfort zone, that's why I've done something like this. So being able to film while people are around, it's going to be the hard part. I just got to get over it. That being said, while I was filming that whole section, I'm like looking around, seeing if there's anyone around me, watching me weirdly film myself. But we are weirdos vloggers, aren't we? But embrace it, own it. I've had my daily dose of vitamin D. It's time to go back inside now. It is too hot. I'm a heat person though, I do enjoy it. But I'm sweating already. Yeah.